Hello. So we're gonna log into our AEM here real quickly and let's see um, if we can show you how to author a simple page. Uh, very quickly, once you log into your AEM, the first things you notice is that you land on the navigation pane here. If you try and author a page in the AEM, you're gonna land on the navigation, look at the site, and uh, depending on how your implementation was set, your sites are going to be listed here. These sites are basically what you have uh, set by your organization or uh, by the implementation. Now, AEM ships with some default sites and that's what I'm using here. So assuming you're trying to create a page and uh, the retail site, you will select the folder and the language folder if you have different languages on that and of course you'll go ahead and select uh, the location the parent page of the site that you of the page that you you're trying to create if you check on that you won't see a create option here you will notice that if I just highlight that I get an option here to create a page and that's very important because sometimes authors start wondering what's happening once you highlight where you're trying to create your page, you can go ahead and just hit create. And that's going to give you a wizard there that gives you an option to select a template and then go ahead and do the properties of that page that you've created. Let's select the template here. Say it's a content page. Go ahead and give it um, a name page one. Um, you can go ahead this is mandatory of course the title and that carries into the URL um, you can change the page title there and that is the page title there that you fill in is what shows up when you add the title component on your page so basically on your page that is being published and the users are going to see it that is the title there so you can change that and give it page one and that if you want a different navigation title and that is for your help when you're authoring or wherever that is going to be displayed on the navigation pen then you can go ahead and enter it there there are a few things you can add there if you try to get a liases or lices and uh, redirect then you can add there uh, whatever redirection you're trying to get or you can just go ahead and target directly there but that's not what we're doing today um, and the same with conf cloud configuration you can go ahead if you're trying to push that to Facebook and Pinterest or you can allow it to be shared whatever content you're creating then you, you go ahead and check that and boom you hit create and you have your page ready you can either say done but of course you have to edit your page once you create it so the page comes with some pre-configured content basically this is inherited from the template for the most part templates are locked but if your super author left the te template unlocked then you probably might be able to get rid of some of the content that will be inherited on that from that template for example if this came with something here a component or something and you wanted to get rid of it then you can go ahead and get rid of it so let's very quickly uh, uh, that is a breadcrumb and I think you can get rid of that breadcrumb if you want this is the paragraph system and this is where you add your content from now an Adobe Experience Manager they use uh, segments or some you can call them modules but really modules is the technical word uh, components is the word and basically components are just bits and pieces that you can use to alter the structure of that page and for example here you're trying to add a simple text you can have your text component there and that gives you the option to edit now, very important for anybody who has never come across uh, AEM, once you click on that and give that a plus, then you're able to add the content and a component that is listed there. And a component basically is just the house of the content that you're trying to add. Could be an image component that allows you to add an image. It could be um, a link. It could be anything else. And most of your developers in your organization will probably add to this um, uh, components and I'll show you later in super authoring how to do that for the time being you can edit there and you can say this is my first 
demo page on AM. Um, give it a check mark there and you have your stuff there. You can have, you can maximize that window and be able to have a bigger authoring interface where you can change a few things here and there. You know, you can decide to make it, you know, a bullet point, whatever you're trying to do. Let's assume it's not a bullet point and it's not, um, and let's leave it bold there. Very quickly, you have your first demo. Now you have a few options here. You uh, can go ahead, assuming this is only content you need, which is not feasible, but let's just go with the flow here. You have options. You can publish or unpublish the page. You can start a workflow. Starting a workflow is basically telling you, um, you know, sending this to a super author or a boss or somebody who is supposed to approve the content in your organization. Once they receive that content, they can edit it or they can review it before it's pushed to um, your publishing instance. And the publishing instance basically queues it uh, and that content eventually finds its way to the end user or the users. So you can do a few things here. You can open the properties again of that page. If you feel like you need to change something like the page title, the navigation, you know, if you're trying to add metadata, then you want to have your description there. So this is my first um, demo page on AEM. You know, sadly that our description is exactly as long as our content, but we're assuming that we're going to have more content on that page. But basically you have to enter that. If you want to do any tagging, you want to classify your content, you have to come here and give it a tag. For example, let's say we're going to classify all this in the we retail and that's a default tag there. I have a few other things that you can add a thumbnail for your page if you're considering uh, having a lot of children under that page then a thumbnail could be a good idea basically this just helps you um, as far as navigation is concerned you have a few things social media personalization if you need to um, connect that to any of the personalization um, settings there and then of course you have any permissions if you uh, want to allow certain authors to be able to edit that page in certain groups and if you're trying to exclude certain people that is probably the place where you can add that that's not necessary because different authors come with different portfolios and are different groups and these different groups have different privileges so you don't really have to do that as long as somebody logs in with their credentials they have the right amount of permissions to do what they need to do so let's get out of here um, uh, say yes um, basically it takes you back to the page that you just created and again you can do a few other things when you click on there you can publish you can unpublish the page editing template if you're a super author it gives you the option if you didn't like what you're seeing on this page you can go back into the template folder and edit the template that uh, this page is inheriting um, a lot of its uh, structure from um, then you can of course view as published and you have the preview here but view as published is always a good um, option for most editing and there you go you've just created your first page let's assume you want to create that page and add an image there you can just drag and drop the image and the image should be able to uh, to be seen there but also you can add an image component there and then get your image in there there are a few a few ways of adding components in there but basically the components give uh, different segments of your page the structure now the template is the overall uh, 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 parent structure but you can edit that depending on how locked or unlocked those uh, components inherit you know inheritance comes with uh, from the um, super author or the template creator there you have it that is you in the next page I'll show you a few more details on how to edit and push this page but also I'll show you a few things on how to create a whole site and uh, adding properties and uh, anything else that uh, authoring experience um, uh, requires thank you